Hello, and welcome to this lesson on binary adder subtractors. In the last lesson, we looked at how to build a full ripple carry adder to add as many bits as we could possibly ever want. In this lesson, we're going to build on top of that ripple carry adder and turn it into a circuit that can do addition or subtraction depending on what we want it to do. So, before we do anything else, let's talk about subtraction just a little bit. Imagine that we're subtracting some numbers. Let's say we're doing 6 minus 4. Now from elementary school we know that this is equal to 2. Now how do we do this in binary? If we have 1, excuse me, 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0 and 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0 and we subtract them. We get 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, and 0 minus 0 is 0. So we see that that's equal to positive 2. What if we wanted to flip this over and get 4 minus 6, which we know in base 10 is equal to negative 2. So let's look at that. We have 0, 1, 0, 0, and 0, 1, 1, 0. And we go to subtract. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 1 means we have to borrow, so we borrow from the 1. 0 becomes 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Now we have 0 minus 1, and we run into a problem. Right, there's, we need to borrow, but there's nothing to borrow from. So we need a different system in order to do this. This is where the twos complement numbers come in. By using twos complement, what we'll do instead, instead of doing four minus six equals negative two, we'll instead do four plus negative six is equal to negative two. And we'll do that by converting the six into negative six using twos complement representation. So we want to do a twos complement conversion. There are two steps. The first step is flip the bits, right? So zero, one, one, zero becomes one, zero, zero, one. And then the second step is add one. And we get zero carry the one, one, zero, one. And this is negative six in twos complement. So when we add those numbers, 0, 1, so those are 4, plus negative 6. 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0. Negative 6 is 1, 0, 1, 0. And we add them up, we get 0, 1, 1, 1, which is equal to negative 2 in 2's comp. So that's the basic mechanics of what we're going to do. Now we need to design a circuit to do it. And the important things that we're going to look for is we need to be able to flip the bits and add one. So let's bring back that ripple carry adder that we had before. There we have it. Now what we need to do is modify it so we can flip the bits of B and then add one. And we're going to take advantage of two handy facts. The first one is that we have this CN over here that doesn't really get used for anything. We're going to use that to do the plus one. And the form, the general form that we're using is A plus B or A minus B. So it's the B operand that we want to do the flipping of the bits on. So what we need to do is have something that lets us add one and flip B at the same time. That way if we don't do that, we can still do addition. And as it turns out, this is a handy case of the XOR operation. So remember that X, XOR 0 is equal to X and X, XOR 1 is equal to X naught. So when you XOR with 1, X becomes inverted, which is exactly what we need because we need to invert B and add 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that adder circuit and we're going to modify it ever so slightly. And what we're going to do is first we're going to take the CN and we're just going to set the CN equal to 1. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these B terms and we're going to add XOR gates to them. So I've taken the normal B input and replaced it with XOR gates. And on one end we'll still have our B bits. B sub 3, B sub 2, B sub 1, and B sub zero. And then what we'll do is we'll take carry in 
and we'll attach, attach it to the other input of the XOR gates. And when we do that, that lets us do the inversion when CN is equal to one, and we don't invert when CN is equal to zero, we don't add one, and we don't invert B, which means we get addition. This is our ripple carry adder subtractor, and that's what we wanted to do. So it's really simple. By just adding some XOR gates to the inputs on B, and using the carry in to be our one, or zero if we want to add, we're able to have a circuit that does addition and subtraction. So we might say something like this, the output is equal to a plus B when CN equals zero and a minus B when CN equals one. That's all there is to the binary adder subtractor. Just add XOR gates on the B inputs and use CN to select between addition and subtraction. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Thank you.